photography studio in Zurich. And Formula One legend Michael Schumacher has arrived to take part in a promotional campaign for a footwear company. It's a far cry from the racing circuit, but Schumacher still likes to be in the driving seat. Can you turn the monitor so I can see the... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to do that. Schumacher's success in Formula One means he has become a fitting choice as brand ambassador. Michael is uh, one of the most famous people in the world. Our brands aren't. He stays for uh, quality. He's a clean person without any scandals. Now, go and stand in the corner there. I think it's my character. It's precision, the quality, the teamwork. There's so many factors that I'm living in my daily life, in my sporting life. And that's uh, one of the reasons that Philip uh, sort of uh, came up and, and had this idea. Such precision and quality produced a winning combination for Schumacher in 1992, when at the age of 25, and in only his second season as a Formula One driver, he took the chequered flag for the first time, driving for the Benetton team. I had a great time with Benetton. We succeeded everything, we could succeed. And after that, the only thing you can do is you can lose. After feeling I need to have a new motivation, I thought I, I want to go a different direction, and that was Ferrari. Accompanying Schumacher to Ferrari was renowned English motorsport engineer, Ross Braun. It was almost like the perfect storm. He came together at the right time. Very fit, huge talent, understanding of all the technology at a time when the technology was becoming even more vital in Formula One. Working in partnership both at Benetton and Ferrari, the pair won a record seven world championships together. We have a long friendship and history. I relate to him 100%, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a blind understanding. Success didn't come without incident. Schumacher would let nothing and no one get in his way. Those who did so, like Damon Hill and Jacques Villeneuve, encountered the ruthless and even reckless side of Schumacher on the track. He thought Villeneuve would back off. He thought that Damon Hill would back off. He thought at one time that he was the man and they would therefore succumb to his authority, so to speak. And he believed it. For me, it, it was Jack's fault that I was out of the race. That was my initial feeling and I was very upset and it took about a couple of hours and a couple of replays of the accident until I understood what really was going on. And that was my mistake. I'm now in Formula One 17 years and uh, I have a few black spots on my vest, but the vest is pretty white anyway. After a record-breaking career, Schumacher shocked the racing world by announcing his retirement in 2006. I retired simply because uh, I didn't have the passion and the motivation anymore. I was tired. I didn't really think, okay, I take a break and then I might come back. But I wasn't interested in this one. I was old enough, I had achieved enough, and there was no need. But a three-year break from Formula One reignited the passion. Schumacher put his retirement plans into reverse. A very early Christmas present. I'd like to introduce Michael Schumacher. When Ross called and offered me the combination together with Mercedes to build up uh, what we're building up right now, I thought, well, I mean, you feel good, feel motivated again, I have the spirit again, why not? Let's have fun. He came back to Formula One with trumpets blaring. Mercedes-Benz, one of the best known brands in the world, having Michael Schumacher coming and back in, more bizarre than anything else. But since his lauded comeback with Mercedes, Schumacher's time behind the wheel has not gone as well as he hoped. Well, certainly not as uh, successful as I thought initially and many other people uh, have thought, but still lots of fun. With a period in the middle that the car was pretty difficult to drive because we had some issues, but uh, you know, this is the thrill of it, to work out something with a team to develop and to build up a new group. The iconic German brands, Schumacher and Mercedes, seemed like a dream team. But a series of mediocre results gave a wake-up call to their hopes of success. 
And the dream turned into a nightmare during the last race of the 2010 season in Abu Dhabi, as Schumacher's car span out of control in the first lap. Initially I thought somebody must have touched me, but uh, looking the video afterwards, it was not. It was just very slippery, a simple driving mistake. The resulting pileup ended with another car coming to rest just inches from his head. I have been through many things. Uh, the only f strange moment was when, when he'd been sitting on, on top of the car. I, I couldn't see for a moment what's going on. Is there some other liquids or is there some other stuff coming on me? Um, do I need to be worried or not worried? The accident uh, could have been a lot more dangerous or with a lot more consequence. You know, the word if and the possibilities of uh, things that could happen to you, they can happen anywhere. It's part of a racing, it can happen. I'm okay, I look forward for the next one. A season without racing honours ended though with a sporting award for Schumacher off the track. At the GQ annual Man of the Year award ceremony, he is being honoured with the title Sportsman of the Year. It's not an obvious choice this year, but as a man's magazine we are really interested in the comeback um, because it's such an epic thing for a man. We were all very happy when he said he was going to race again and we think we're gonna, he's going to make it next year. It's an honor to be here tonight and be on the list uh, of, of the receivables. Enjoy the evening together with my wife, it's uh, obviously special as well. It's not our life uh, to, to be in this role. We know it's, it's part of our situation. Uh, we try to fulfill as good as possible, but uh, it's unfortunately not our nature to be star.